In this session, we learn about how to automate YouTube views using Bot. So for that, we need PyCharm. So let's open PyCharm. It will open in a minute. So we are going to use Selenium Web Driver in this session. So for that, let's open a new project and give a preferred name for this. Let's call YouTube and create. This is going to create a new project. So we are going to use a Chrome for this. So what we need is we need Chrome driver for this. So Chrome driver for the browser can be downloaded from here. Chrome driver. It depends on the depends on the system that uh, operating system that you are using. For me, I downloaded one of those. So. You, did, you, you better download either Mac, Windows or Linux drivers and I will tell you where to use that. So for example, let us download this Mac version for me. So this is where it's downloaded. So I unzipped, so earlier I downloaded so I can use this Chrome driver from here so let's copy this okay so copy the chrome driver and uh, i'm going to put it in here uh, i'm going to put the chrome driver here so I just pasted it so we need a chrome driver we downloaded a chrome driver from there unzipped it and the chrome driver pasted here so that's what we need. So whatever it's open in here, just remove it, remove everything. So what we need here, we are going to use Selenium. So for that, let's import Selenium from Selenium. Selenium. If you don't have Selenium web driver installed, what you have to do is you go there, right click, open in terminal, and uh, you use pip install selenium so selenium is one of the packages where it automates most of the stuff and selenium is installed for me so now i can say from selenium so it's automatically it's auto auto populated in from the selenium packages we are importing web driver in the selenium packages we are importing the web driver and we need to give the because we are going to use chrome browser we need to give the path of this one so let's call let's create a variable called path path equals to and i'm going to give the path of this completely so click here right click here get a path copy path so here you can select the auto absolute path. I'm going to put in, in, in the quotations. I'm going to use the whole path wherever this is located. So path is given and uh, create one more variable called driver. Driver equal to and then so we have downloaded the web driver. Use the web driver function in web driver class from web driver because we are going to use chrome let's choose the chrome class from there chrome and uh, use the um, use the brackets where we need to put the path whatever path is located here variable so what we have done so far i'll explain it we are we have actually downloaded chrome driver from the website we put it here and we have downloaded selenium using pip pip install selenium in the terminal then from selenium we imported the web driver and right 
and when we have created a variable called path in the path equals to we have given the path of this we have we have copied the absolute path of that and then we have given there and we created one more drive one more variable called driver where equal this is equal to web driver whatever we imported from the web driver web driver dot because we are going to use chrome no, we can use different browsers also i'll show you if you use chrome if you use so we can use uh, different browsers also here for example ie we can use safari we can use firefox we can use edge like the opera and such kind of stuff so we are using chrome just for the test purposes chrome brackets we are giving the path that's what we need to do then what we have to do because we are going to i'm going to uh, create a list here uh, list this list is called videos I, I call it videos right and create a list list of the uh, <clears throat> youtube videos that i want i have some videos from my channel I, I want these videos to be opened automatically so quotations give this right comma now i'm going to have three videos just for the test purposes quotations the second video copy this paste comma and the third video quotations i'm going to copy the third video url copy and paste it here okay we got three videos ready for us then we put them in a list nicely and then what i have to do is i need to <coughs> put this in a loop so that it plays automatically one by one so for that what i have to do let's create we know that we can use a for loop we can use a for loop for repeating the tasks so i create for loop we know that for i in the range of for example i wanted to play three times i give three and then semicolon so i outside the brackets semicolon so i wanted it i want in you know, this to play so there is no the for i in range three that's why i in the range three for example i want it to three three times to play what i need to play <coughs> uh, i want to for example let's define a play equals to we, we want to give driver dot videos we can say driver dot videos so before we wanted to do what i want to do is i don't want it to play any video i want it to play a random video so for that if you wanted to play random i would like to import a random module right and then i would like to import time also because i want it to play give set and time so i have imported random and time modules so in the for loop what i can do i would like to select among these three i would like to select a random videos to be played right so for example let's have rand videos rand videos sorry rand videos equal to let's have a variable called rand videos here i want it to uh, to be a randomly played so random dot randint so we have three videos right so the range should be 0 comma 2 so it is a 0 1 2 so the index sum of randint should be 0 1 2 right so this is randint but uh, we have given this in a variable but we haven't called the variable yet so let us say uh, let us define one more variable called play equals to right uh, i want the give the web driver here web driver dot Rand videos mm, we have 
I call the driver instead of web driver we call it the driver right driver dot and uh, we can use the get method here so I want to get what I need to get I need to get the random videos I can say a random videos so we want it to play what we need to play we want it to play from the driver using driver get the method get these videos randomly because we put this in randomly right to, and we, we want this to be played randomly we can leave as is we can try opening it and see what it happens run it and see what it happens let us see see this is opening in chrome it is going to play a video chrome is being controlled by automated test software you got an error line 14 brand videos line 14 play equal to driver dot get brand videos okay because we said rand videos we haven't given videos here let's give get videos because we have given the videos as a name so videos in bracket in bracket in the list we can say we can say uh, rand videos right now you play close this close it and play There you go. Google Chrome is opening. It is opening. We Google Chrome is being controlled by automated test software. And it's open the YouTube automatically. And it might play one of the videos. It is playing one of the videos randomly. Right? There you go this is how we automate stuff okay uh, this is nice so what we can do we want uh, this loop it will run three times right one after another one after another like that three times right so we want something to print to tell us that this video is playing right let us say print this video is playing playing right give a curly bracket curly close bracket and come back here dot we format it say i so it tells that the number how many because we've done three times it should say that one video is playing at the time let's close it and rerun it and see what it happens would like to see a print message here saying that video one is playing okay. yes it played three times zero one two played three times but what we need is we want it to give certain time that's why we have we have imported time here so let us give set a time limit before it plays so let's give a sleep sleep time for that okay uh, so for that what we can do in, in, in here, here we have rand videos like that we shall we'll give rand time right equal to random dot random dot Rand, uh, rand it, mm, rand it. We can give rand it. So we want around five seconds. Let us wait ten to twenty seconds. So it 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 uses any time between ten and twenty, right? Here we can say the time dot sleep in seconds. How many seconds we want? We want random time seconds so we can say rand time here 
that is our thing. So let's run now and see. Let's close everything and run and see what it happens. Okay, this video is playing. It's saying this video is playing for zero. So it will select one of the random times. This video is playing, and second video is playing, and it shows that playing one. And it play for maybe five seconds, ten seconds. And we have one more video which is playing too. So this is how you create a bot to play videos automatically. But uh, be careful, this video is only for educational purposes only. You should not automate the, if you automate and make it uh, using this program, you can automate, but it may be causes issue with YouTube. Okay, thank you.